With regards to the leadership requirements model, how important is selfless service to a soldier in their career, and what does it mean to our profession? Um, I think selfless service um, is uh, important because it's not normal. I think selfless service is not something you ask of um, a person that works for you uh, in many other professions or in any other job. Um, and we expect uh, our soldiers, uh, we expect our leaders uh, to be selfless. Uh, and, and I think what we mean by that is um, to think about and to do for your soldiers uh, before you do for yourself. Uh, it's as simple as, and, and, and I do it today, and most old soldiers, most old officers, um, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes for me to eat last now, uh, but I certainly never eat first. Um, you know, uh, selfless, uh, you know, for me, uh, means something different than it does for, uh, you know, my son, you know, who's a first lieutenant in the Army. Uh, and I think young uh, men and women, young officers today, uh, you know, may struggle, some of them do, I think, struggle with, you know, uh, the notion of someone asking you uh, to be selfless, you know, in your, in your service. Uh, but I do think it's what separates uh, our Army uh, from every other profession. I do think that, um, you know, those uh, who um, are naturally selfless, um, uh, are the ones who, uh, are, are, who connect better with our soldiers, uh, who are viewed as authentic and in, you know, some cases, uh, even vulnerable. Um, but I just think selfless service is um, you know, one of the hallmarks of being an officer, and it is certainly one of the things that, you know, as I, you know, I'm approaching the end of my career, uh, you know, I'll look back and, and I'll be able to evaluate and assess, you know, just how selfless, you know, Mike Garrett was, uh, you know, and how important that was uh, during, you know, the, the time that I spent in the Army. How important is humility in an Army leader? And do you have any personal experiences or uh, recollections regarding that? Yeah, another thing, I think it's, uh, it's, it's uh, again, it's very important. Um, you know, uh, humility uh, is a quality um, that we seek, I think, in most people. Um, the best uh, leaders in our Army, uh, non-commissioned officers and officers, and this is Garrett's list of best leaders, uh, were those who were not only incredibly capable, capable, um, but they were also those who were incredibly humble. Um, and they were humble in all aspects uh, of their lives. There are some folks that I've watched over the years that I respect greatly, uh, but the more they move up, um, you know, the more opportunities, I think, for hubris, uh, you know, to get in the way of, of the humility uh, that has set them apart, and I think that has allowed some of these folks, you know, to get to where they are, and I think we all uh, suffer from it up. You know, um, I remember when uh, I was selected for, well, actually when I was promoted uh, to general in uh, the Army of the United States of America. Uh, and I thought about, you know, for a moment, and it was almost an out-of-body experience uh, because uh, for, the, for the few minutes or seconds, however long it was that I thought about it, I was not being humble. Uh, you know, for a few minutes, 
Um, you know, my thoughts were of, of uh, you know, the stature that I had risen to and, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, nobody outranks me anymore. Um, and I had, I mean, I had that thought, I mean, that, that was a couple of minutes to, you know, of, 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 of that. And, uh, and then I did like I always did, or I always do. And that is, you know, I, I, uh, I said a quick prayer, um, uh, asked for, uh, forgiveness. You know, it's one of my favorite things, you know, about being Catholic is confession. Right. I mean, even as a young boy, I remember going the very, very first time and coming out of there, um, you know, feeling like a new human being. And I still have those feelings today. And so my point is, humility is is important, but we're all humans. And um, and I think, you know, the the best uh, officers and, and leaders, you know, that I've seen, you know, they handle, you know, those those moments where um, you can't help but be human. Uh, and where maybe hubris, uh, you know, wins out over humility. Um, but, but, uh, but I think, you know, there is recognizing, um, recognizing that and then, uh, you know, realizing that uh, that's not what got you to where you are and, and that's certainly not, um, you know, the example uh, that you want to set for your soldiers. A lot of people struggle to define and understand empathy, especially in the military profession. What are your thoughts on the role of empathy in leading soldiers? Uh, again, I, I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's critical. Um, but I, I, I do think, I do think that, uh, you know, they're probably, we probably need to study um, you know, uh, empathy today uh, against, uh, you know, baby boomers definition of empathy. You know, I, I just, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I worry that, um, and, and we'll, we'll sort it out, you know, I, again, you know, I, I know that uh, the Army and, you know, the country and the world, you know, are in capable hands because I look at my kids uh, and other kids, you know, and, and they'll figure it out, but they just have a lot to figure out, uh, in my view. Um, you know, uh, the way that uh, we communicate today, uh, I mean, the first, I mean, the first thing, the first option for communicating is not looking someone in the eye. It's uh, being disconnected and sending, a, you know, a, a text message that, uh, half the words are not even spelled, um, but but we don't we don't connect on a human uh, level. We connect, you know, um, primarily through machines, uh, and and I do think that it is, um, you know, what's tough about you know being empathetic is is uh, you have to feel, um, and. Um, you know, when we are disconnected and when we are communicating through devices, uh, it's easier not to make, again, as, as I said before, not to make a human connection, but really not to, to have to consider how you feel about, you know, whatever it is that you're talking about. Um, I think one of the best things that I've done, one, I grew up in a, you know, with my mom and dad. You know, my dad's a very, very hard man, but my mother uh, was just a saint. Right, and um, um, and I think I'm as much as I want to say I'm more like Sergeant Major Garrett. I'm probably more like Lola um, in terms of uh, how I feel about people. Um, but it takes time. And you have to invest uh, in people. And that's one of the challenges that we have right now with our soldiers. Um, we are not investing uh, in our relationships. You know, we are not, um, you yeah, know, we don't know, we don't know them uh, as well uh, as we should. Um, and it's easier uh, to not be empathetic uh, when there's no real relationship. Um, and, 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 and again, you know, we have a lot of things working against us, you know, and uh, as I said, when I came in the Army, um, you know, you had to, you know, you had to go to someone's room uh, at first call to make sure that, uh, you know, that they got up for PT. 
you had five formations a day because that's how you put out information and that's how you account it for folks. Um, you know, today, um, you know, there are formations out there that probably don't have any formations. Um, you know, there are soldiers out there that, uh, there, and there are leaders out there that are fair, they're very comfortable, um, you know, having a, uh, a text, you know, group of their soldiers and, you know, um, depending on what they're doing in the morning, uh, that is an acceptable way for them to, you know, account for everyone. Um, so anyways, I, I, I think, uh, I think empathy is very important in a leader. Um, you know, I, and you can go back and look at all of our leaders, even the most charismatic uh, of our leaders, they were incredibly empathetic uh, people. Uh, and all of them, um, you know, were very emotional. Um, I mean, the ones that I think about and, and, and listen to, um, you know, the, the, they weren't shy with, with their feelings. Um, and the people around them, I think, also, you know, uh, knew that they were human beings and not machines and did care and did feel. Um, so, uh, again, I think it's important and, you know, I certainly think we have, you know, much work to do uh, to understand and to, to have our leaders and soldiers be more empathetic. How important is diversity in the Army? Can you talk about the importance of inclusion as well? Yeah, I think what, <clears throat> and, and again, I, I personally think what separates our Army uh, from every, every other army on the planet uh, is the diversity uh, of our force uh, and uh, our non-commissioned officer corps. Um, I mean, I, you know, and I don't, I don't mean this in, 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 uh, in, in the wrong way, uh, but pick an army. Uh, pick, pick, pick an army, uh, the South Korean army, uh, the North Korean army, uh, the Chinese army, uh, the Egyptian army. P I just pick an army and think about, think about the diversity of the country uh, and then think about the diversity of the force. And then you think about, and, and you know, these are, these, are, uh, these are good armies, you know, that, that we're talking about. But then you think about the United States. And, you know, what has always amazed me is that, uh, and again, you know, I figured this out as a, I don't, I don't know if it was a school project or something, but, um, you know, what really separates our country from every other country in the world is that we have the very best and a little bit of everything in the whole wide world. Um, I mean, pick a, you know, pick an ethnicity uh, and you can put American behind it. Pick a country, a nation, and you can put American behind it. Uh, and I think it's that diversity of experiences, uh, that diversity of thought, uh, you know, um, is what makes, you know, our army uh, the army that it is today. Uh, and really the army that we've, I mean, I think what people were always concerned about the United States Army is that, uh, you know, we have lots of ideas and those ideas come from a whole bunch of different, you know, diverse people. Um, I also think that, uh, you know, in our country, it's important that uh, uh, if you believe in diversity, uh, it's important that, you know, every soldier is able to look up into their chain of command. You know, so think about the uh, chain of command board in every, you know, platoon, company, battalion, whatever headquarters. Uh, and they should be able to see themselves. They should be able to see uh, not only themselves, but they should be able to see a path um, and should not, you know, they shouldn't look up at, uh, you know, I, like I said, I feel sorry for my son because, you know, in every, and I mean, my, my, my mug is in his, you know, company orderly room. Um, but our soldiers deserve to be able to look up there and see uh, somebody that looks like them. Uh, that has attained, uh, you know, the the highest rank in our army and and you know positions of of uh, importance and prominence. Um, but you know what, we we can't take it for granted. You know, I I think the the army is, uh, I think uh, the army has done uh, a lot of hard things for our country to advance uh, diversity, um, and I think today is an opportunity for the Army to continue to do that. 
you know, um, what, what uh, current events uh, have allowed us to do in the Army is to have that very uncomfortable conversation about racism, you know, between people that generally, uh, you know, if left to their own devices would avoid it, right? You know, I remember picking, you know, sitting down with a squad and asking, asking a white soldier, said, hey, how, easy, how hard is it for you to talk to uh, this black soldier over here about, about racism? And he kind of chuckled. He goes, sir, I'm not doing that. He goes, why would I do that? Who wants to talk about that? And he's just being honest. Uh, and, um, you know, what I think we have to do today is we have to take advantage of this opportunity that we have uh, to have, um, you know, those hard um, discussions um, so that we learn more about one another and we learn why and we begin to appreciate, I think, uh, in a different way and on a different level, um, you know, how precious and how important, you know, diversity is, not just to our army, uh, but I think it's to, you know, to our nation. Um, so.